Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. I'm still here in Berlin, not that far away where the last video ended, at the Berliner Dom. Over there we have the Berliner Stadtschloss, which is from this side in this sunlighting a real beauty. And here starts, I think, the most well-known street, not only of Berlin, but of all Germany. It's called Unter den Linden. Street that will take me here from the Alexanderplatz area to the Brandenburg Gate. Right here on this bridge we start with very classical sculptures. Just great. Over there is another one. Here we are crossing again the Spree River at least a branch of the Spree River. To the right is Museum Island. Over there, here we go, is another museum. The new museum there with the white. And behind that I think this should be the Pergamon Museum. Uh, anyway, I don't know exactly, but there are five museums on this island and you can see two of them right here. The fall is also arriving in Berlin. And now let's make our way down Unter den Linden towards the Brandenburger Tor, the Brandenburg Gate. And this is so nice here today. Not that long ago they constructed a new a new piece of U-Bahn line right here in the city center that's connecting the uh, Hauptbahnhof Central Station to the Alexanderplatz and Museum Island here is one of the new stations. Here we have another museum. The German Historic Museum. Okay, on second thought, as the pedestrian path is so wide here, I will stay on this side. But have a little look back. The dome, that's the uh, Berlin Castle, the Stadtschloss. To the right, this is, I think, a part of the Humboldt Forum. Here, the German Historic Museum and the construction. Nice fall colors. <clears throat> and here is another very classical building. Can't tell you right away what it is now. <laughs> but okay, I'm a tourist, I don't have to know everything. In Munich, you can ask me, and I basically know almost everything. But here in Berlin, where I'm a tourist, I'm allowed not to know everything. <laughs> but what I know, I will of course let you know as well. The building over there, with the many sculptures on the roof. I know the sun is not the most positive to view this right now. But this is a part of the Berlin Humboldt University. This is the Staatsoper, the Deutsche Staatsoper, so the main opera house of all Germany. And right here, we have the main building of the Humboldt University, named after Alexander von Humboldt, who was a scientist. I think he also wrote books, but no uh, love, romance stuff scientific books. And what is of course always present in the very city center, especially in the eastern part, is the Fernsehturm you can see back to the right, the, the big red and white antenna. 
That's so nice. Of course, the statue here in the middle, the white one, that's Alexander von Humboldt. And here is another statue of Wilhelm von Humboldt, I think it was his brother. Still looking for a chance to cross the street, I think. No? <laughs> will it happen right now? Yes, it will. Because this is a very nice church here in the background, St. Hedwig, and the German Staatsoper is there as well. Okay, turning westbound again. This statue is uh, Kaiser Friedrich der Große. I think he lived in the 18th century. And here you can see why this street is called Unter den Linden. Uh, Linde is a sort of a tree. I don't know how it's called in English. I'm sorry for that. But all these trees are <coughs> Linden. So we are below the Linden, Unter den Linden. Right, the Library of the State in Berlin, so something like the German National Library, in a beautiful old building, sandstone colors, I love sandstone colors. Here's some more construction going on they're doing here ah, doesn't matter oh green light I'm lucky so here over to the right I also haven't seen that before this is the Bud Spencer Museum U-Bahn station. This is also quite a nice entrance here. Have a look. And here is food. Vietnamese restaurant and sushi bar. What does Vietnam and sushi have in common? I can tell you, the most sushi restaurants in Germany are run by Vietnamese. Don't ask me why. That's just what it is. And here we will be crossing Friedrichstraße. There's a U-Bahn running here on a north and south direction. And here to the right, the S-Bahn and Deutsche Bahn station Friedrichstraße. Close to the Spree River. This station also has a history. So not, not this one, not the U-Bahn station where I'm just walking by, but the S-Bahn station Friedrichstraße. As this formerly was a uh, water crossing point between East and West Germany, between East and West Berlin. So, uh, how was it? One or two tracks were in West Germany, then there was a wall. And the other two or three tracks were in East Germany. And this station was used by trains from the West and by trains from the East simultaneously. But crossing the border there was not easy. My father once did it 
were back in the late 80s told me about that I don't remember everything but she said he was pretty scared by what was going on there at the border crossing and I understand so here on both sides of the street tourist shops is a ZDF it's a TV station Here's another tourist shop and the Komische Oper, so a comedy opera. And there, this is a classical, and this was always here Aeroflot, Russian Airlines. They have a building in here for themselves. Here, all this outside seating, unfortunately, is now closed. As we have October, I think this was to be expected. And you might already see it, it's not far to the Brandenburg Gate, right here in front of me. But this will be in the next video. So, greets from uh, Berlin unter den Linden. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like this video. And uh, stay tuned for the next one that will be right in front at the Brandenburg Gate. See you there. Have a good time. Goodbye.